Yeah. Lots of new memoirs. Evening all. I'm Arthur. Welcome back to Get Even. So, yeah, we've found out an awful lot about what's been happening. Um, turns out we all work for Robert Ramsey. Um, I was head of security. Rose was his personal assistant or whatever she was doing. She was working with him anyway. She was his assistant. Um, she got pissed off of him. I got pissed off of him. Uh, she got a little bit OTT with it all though because she, obviously she fell in love with him and wanted him to leave his wife and kid behind and go with her and he didn't um, and she then kept kidnapped Grace or put it into motion into a plan and as we can see by the little pictures that we've got on my phone because um, obviously these are part of the memories is we found out we found her and we put her through a window probably uh, quite a high story in the building Um she said, it's Howard, um, so we think it's Roger Howard, who I stole the corner gun from under the orders of Robert Ramsey. Um, so he might be getting his revenge on Ramsey and kidnapping his daughter with the help of Rose and Jasper. Um, we've been seeing Ramsey's memories more than mine. Um, for some reason he kidnapped me and well, he's just going through my memories to try and figure out what's going on anymore. And as it says here, I don't care anymore. I have to get to the bottom of this. So we need to find out what the fuck's going on. I'm getting my gun out because I'm in the asylum slash prison. So anyone else, I'm just going to shoot. Let's just, I'm going to go quickly into the evidence room and see if I've actually got anything. 100%. Where do I go? Not that way, apparently. Okay. Uh, dear diary, today I found a friend and we talked a great deal. He was the funniest fun I ever had. What? Oh, okay. Funnest fun I ever had. I told him many amazing stories about my silly little dog, Backbone, and he told me all about his most elegant friend, Charles Boyce, who wears his best suit to sleep. What a splendid day it was. Big John has a true friend now. Right. Are you in there? Hello? Maybe. Puppet man. Puppet man. Uh, can't go in there. I came out of there. Yep. So, there's nothing else. So we go upstairs. Cool. Someone's having a party. Where the hell? Two green things. One green thing. So what? So we've gone from information that possibly was there to nothing. Great. Long time no see. Ah, to see. There's the gift. Can you see? Oh, mate. Hey there. No. I don't think you do. You see yourself as above everyone in here. Just another inmate. Stuck in the past. Stuck in here. Stuck in a rut. But then... You always were. It's why oh, we're okay. here. It's why we're all fucking here. Think I'm finally going crazy? Great. Nothing in there. Okay. Okay. What was that? Gun. Okay. Must be where they hold the art therapy classes. Great, I'm locked in. In this place. Take out the demons. Place them on the page. My paint is red. It should be black. The puppet master will not be pleased. Okay then. How am I seeing this? It must be the tech playing up again. Maybe. Do 
DNA found. 42 year old white male. Is that it? Is it me? Oh shit, somebody there. Party bus. How many of these fuckers are there? Well, I missed you twice, admittedly. Uh, I am not sad about killing the inmates now anymore, to be honest. <laughs> Having a fun dance there, it looks like. Nothing going on in there. Slightly sinister, isn't it? They are both dead, though. Oh, yes. Right, lovely. Hmm. What are these? I just don't fucking know anymore. Can't you see? Open your eyes. It's a party. And you are the guest of honor. Me? Why? What? What is all this? Can't you all just leave me alone? Said the king to his subjects. Who oh. watched the puppet show? The puppet show for the puppet master. They've worked so hard, worked themselves to death. It's all for you. Now you got me mistaken. I'm not your master. Oh. But you are. You always were. No. Drink. drink yourself blind. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm not going to drink that, obviously. Well, that's just freaky weird shit. Can't get out. Go around here. Nope. Down here. Oh, yes, there we go. We've got a door. Drink. No master is above his subjects. Get out. Come on. Oh, knock out gas. That's just rude. What a prick. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm not going nowhere else. I'll just come out of there. Oh, for f Christ's sake. Oh, there's my shit, drop my shit uh, shooting ideas. Okay, so it's one at a time. Okay then. Puppet master. Am I going to be left with the Puppet man? Puppet masters. I don't know why I was crouching. Oh, come on. I don't like that. 
Blame the next going on in here. Uh. Can I just leave? Can I? Do I have to go back the other way where I was going for in the first place? Sorry, dude. Apparently, yes. Jesus H Christ, it's got all freaky weird all of a sudden. Well. Who? It seems as though the user of the Pandora may skew certain details if they make a conscious effort to reject the technology. Perceived resistance, order of events, conversations, even environments may all be distorted or even hidden. It's problematic, but the savant should be able to debug any inconsistencies in the review <clears throat> phase. Yeah, but only you know that because it's your tech. So how would I even know that? I know how to do it. Right. Well, I know this shit's got freaky, and I don't like it. The Pandora's first true test. To uncover the truth behind what happened to Grace. Oh, great. So this is the first time. I have my suspicions. But I must have missed something. Overlooked details. How could I have not known about this? How could I have not seen it coming? No matter. I will examine every last memory I can find. I will fix this. I don't know how you'll fix it. She's dead, isn't she? Okay, I'm finally ready to begin. He seems stable enough, though Hope expresses expresses doubts over my own ability to oversee the review. No matter, I must proceed. I must get to the truth. I'm plugging him in. Me? Um, the what? Yeah? Thanks for telling me. Oh, this is horribly freaky. Wait, you know what I mean? this is you, you fucking bastard. Let me out of here now. This has gone on long enough. Calm down, Mr. Black. That glass is bulletproof. Shatterproof and soundproof. What glass? Your words cannot reach me and your bullets cannot harm me. Now, oh. move on. We are so very close to the truth. Son of a bitch. Fine. All roads end here, Mr. Black. Time for answers. You know the protocol by now. Let us see exactly what secrets you are hiding. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not hiding anything. We have a name. Howard. He's the enemy. If only it were that simple, Mr. Black. Well, it goddamn well seems to be. When ADS downsized, Roger Howard had so much of his assets, including the two biggest warehouses and ADS headquarters, which were acquired by his rivals from FDG. But he never sold a small warehouse on Small Lane in Solihull. Why is that building so important to him? Could it be his hideout? Hideout? Where was he? Shut up. Uh, well, let's go in. So I don't know what the heck's going on. Howard's lost everything when you stole the corner gun from me. It would make sense he'd want revenge. The only question is why would you have any memory of meeting him? The only memory I have of Roger Howard is the night I stole the corner gun. We'll see, Mr. Black. We'll see.
Well, I suppose he did see who actually stole it, so he, know, he, he knew, knew who I was. Especially if he looked through your um, portfolio of people that you employed. This memory looks to be unstable. Disrupted as little as possible, Black. Don't go in all guns blazing. Why not? I don't want you to know shit, do I? No way I imagined that. Really? Who is else is there? Oh. Shit, Max. Typical black. I should have learned by now you're incapable of using I underestimated who I was being spied by. Alright. Oh, you are there now. There's a thing that happens to people that go around here, mate, and it's not really good for them, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, okay, it doesn't hurt, does it, Red? No, of course not. Well, yeah, great. Waste of time. You're hiding something from me, Black. And I will find out what. I'm not hiding anything. You still take me for a fool. Look how many mercenaries there are, Black. A memory will only seek to protect itself in this manner if its owner doesn't want it to be examined. I don't know what you're fucking talking about, mate. Alright? Um. Right, oh, there's something here. Substance recognized. Polytetrafluoroethylene sniper rifle cleaner. So tired of this shit. Nice. Me too, mate. Two months since we last got paid. This is bollocks. Oh yeah. Oh, is that what you're after? Is that what you wanted? No idea. Well, there's a path here, so I'm guessing I can go here, so that's fine. Oh, there's another one. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I'm guessing that doorway is where I need to be. Don't turn around, buddy. You don't need to. Let's go in the door. Or let's not, because that's not how we go in, apparently. Shit. Where do I go, then? No way I imagined that. There! Over by that bush! Um, just screw off, dude. Screw you, Red. Screw you. I did everything I can to prevent that happening. 
Unfortunately, my corner gun fucking stuck out. If you revenge from my black, I can indulge you or destroy you. Yeah, shut up. I'm not actually. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright. Whoa. Sonic. Whoa. Okay. Where where am I? Um fuck. I'll never get used to how all this works. No, definitely not. Cause that was some freaky shit. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm in this realm again. Oh, Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been. Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel Probably. so much better about everything. I'm guessing the creepy sound was the door opening to my right. Yes. Then why don't you? Flawless in the way you ruined me in my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred oh, to shit. me. Surely hey, I didn't set this up. I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? Every man has his price, Slack. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. Uh -huh. uh, desperate men, Robert. Desperate men do desperate things. If you have that kind of information over me, that's not a good thing. That's actually a bad way of working. Like if someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, but I don't get any ideas. No. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. Whoa. Oh, help. Puppet Master's Ramsey then. Not Ramsey, um Yeah, Robert Ramsey, yeah. Well, uh what's going on? I think my brain's about to implode. Ow. Um, gun? No gun. Oh shit. Where's my gun? Oh, my gun. I was, I was here with a gun a minute ago. You spent so much time with 
find so much energy figuring out who was to blame, yet you never stopped to consider yourself. Yeah. I'm in. What the fuck? Ramsey! What the hell? What's going on? I'm... how to put it? Closing the asylum. How are you doing this? What is this place? Uh, whoa. What the... what the... Oh, this place again. What's it all about this time? Cole Black. Upon leaving the military seven years ago, it seemed Black lost years of his life to alcohol and occasionally, occasionally even drugs. In order to fund this lifestyle, he took small-scale security jobs where he began to develop something of a reputation. Words spread out about his ability and willingness to fight should the situation call for it, which ultimately led to work as a contract killer. Over time, Black left the alcohol behind in favour of the thrill of his new work. Though his contacts pay well, Black seems to use the money only to gauge the importance of the contract and the seriousness of the client. Psych reports suggest Black is a walking contradiction, able to kill without feeling wrought with guilt, yet only able to find purpose in life through killing. No known family or friends. Well, yes. Oh, what's that one over here? Have I been here? I don't think so. No, I haven't. Oh, and there's a thing to see. Where are we going now? Whoa. Where the I'm afraid flaming... I haven't been quite straight with you, Black. My apologies. Right. No surprise. Once and for all, what the fuck is going on, Ramsey? Where am I now? My memories, Mr. Black. Interacting with someone wearing the Pandora can sometimes create what I call synaptic bleed. Two-way traffic, if you will. A flaw in the technology. And the asylum? Right. Oh, forgive me. The asylum was necessary. Son of a bitch. That whole thing was just some big illusion. Yeah. Simulation would be the correct term. The construct was of my own design, intended to keep your adrenaline at the optimum oh. level for the technology to function efficiently. And the inmates? Patients are yours? The patients were nothing to do with me. I just provided the simulation. But the mind has a wonderful way of filling in the gaps. I show you a creepy old asylum, your mind populates it with lunatics. It likely just half-remembered characters from your life. Sometimes even films and books. Predictable, perhaps, but not unexpected. So you tricked me. This whole thing was a lie. Do you want to talk about lies, Mr. Black? Whose lies and tricks would you rather discuss? Mine yeah, or yours? Mine. I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. I really don't. Because as far as I'm concerned, We've seen what my memories have been about. And your tech. This is Grace's room. You remember her, Black? The girl you tried to save. My daughter. Of course! Then why were you there? You were my employee, Black. My head of security. You knew my daughter had been taken and you said nothing. I don't remember! I don't believe you. Okay. Maybe I don't remember. Maybe I'm telling the truth. Ask bag. What about Lenore, my wife? What about her, Black? I don't know what you want me to say! She left me, Black. She blamed all this on me, and it wasn't my fault. I refuse to accept responsibility for the actions of some terrorist. Tell me what you know! All I know of her is what I've seen here! In your memories! I'm sorry, I can't help you! Um... So... You fuck up. You cause a lot of shit. And you blame everyone else. Right, okay, fine. What about this man, Black? You remember him? I remember you, Ramsey. And I am sorry for what you've been through. But I tried to help. I just didn't get there soon enough. Please, let me go. Is that what you want, Black? To be let go? Of course, we had a deal.
Uh, let it's you a go. Sauna. Happy to, of course. But let me ask you this. Are there any circumstances under which you would not wish to be let go? What the fuck are you talking about? Gun? No gun. Welcome to my office, Mr. Black. Have okay, a look fine. around. I'm sure you'll be able to make sense of everything. Why? Computers. Shit. Why was your office in a basement? What's that? But you've got to be fucking kidding me. What the fuck? This is me. More of your scare tactics, Ramsey. But it won't fucking work. Not anymore. Uh, you say you don't remember anything else? That you've told me everything? Then I don't need you anymore. You don't need me. If only you'd been a little more cooperative, things might have been different. Goodbye, Mr. Black. Wait! And it's still out! For the Robert! What? Don't do this! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for everything! Wake me up! Please! Just wake me up! Um, um, am I dead? Um. What the fuck? Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, well, yeah. Um. Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, okay. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I get it. I'm, I'm really quite bad at this game. Audit phase complete. Cerebral link, patient number black 001. Pandora unit terminal disconnect. Would you like to commence archive data review, Dr. Ramsey? Uh, yes. Switch to Savant unit playback. Begin the review. What the hell? Oh, and Hope, could you also fire up a coffee machine? Doctor? Prior to review, my medical recommendation would be the implementation of a minimum four-hour rest period. Further caffeine intake will only delay fatigue, not arrest it. Then make it a double shot. Three sugars. I also need a baseline so... memory to carry out the review. Which was the most stable from those recorded? That would be... this. Cached on initial Pandora system startup of Patient Black 001. Good. Then let us explore a complete memory before we review the broken. Proceed with interactive playback. Can I just have a quick look? Because obviously, I think my body is in here. Uh, yep. I am either dead, or well, not dead, but near to death. And he's keeping me alive. You son of a bitch. That's the only thing I can actually do is that. Yes. Commencing data review imminently. Decoding memory cache and savant playback. Binary filters online. Servers currently running at optimal speed. Inputting biorhythmic feedback parameters. Deep insulin injection in three. Two, one. You are ready to go, Dr. Ramsey. Whoa. Stay away from me. Stay away. It's okay. I'm a friend. Do I die soon to you? Right, okay.
Okay, we're back in. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, not I'm in. Commencing review. Now, where is... This is where I started. You heard from Jasper yet? Not yet. Oh, right, okay. Um, uh, I don't know what's going to go on here, guys. Right, okay, I'm going to leave this one here because I don't know if this is going to be short, long, or what. Um, I've been recording for plenty of time already, anyway. Um, so anyway, guys, hope you're enjoying uh, Get Even. Looks like old Cole Black's in a bad way. Um, and old Robert Ramsey here, who we're now playing, is a uh, bit of a dick, actually. She's keeping me alive while he uh, uses my memories. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for stopping by watching my video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know how I'm getting on. And if there's any games you'd like to see on the channel, don't forget to leave them in the comments below and I'll see what I can do about getting them on in the future. Um, share, subscribe, be appreciated. And generally, thanks for coming by and watching and thanks for being a part of other plays, got other plays guys. Um, again, very much appreciated, all of you. Um, so anyway, guys, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next episode of Get Even. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be, but hopefully we'll get to the bottom of this. So, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.